Uh, we're no strangers to a crucial SSD benchmark on our scan channel, having tested quite a few internal and external drives in the studio over the years. And if you didn't already know, Crucial is a brand of Micron, who are one of the largest manufacturers of computer memory products in the world, with over four decades of experience in building award-winning, fast, affordable and reliable storage solutions, with options for every budget and use case. And today we're going to be taking a look at three of their popular M.2 NVMe PCIe SSDs. We've got the P3, the P3 Plus and the P5 Plus. Let's start with the most affordable drive, the P3. This uses PCIe 3 and it's able to achieve read speeds up to 3,500 megabytes per second. And it comes in four capacities, 500 gigabytes, one, two, and four terabytes. As I say, this is the most affordable of the three drives and it gives you pretty nifty speeds for general storage. The 500 gigabyte option is currently less than 45 quid. Stepping it up, we have the P3 Plus, which uses PCIe 4 and manages to boost those read speeds up to 5,000 megabytes per second, dependent on the capacity. To put that into context, that's nearly nine times faster than SATA 3 SSDs and up to 43% faster than the fastest Gen 3 SSD. There's four capacity options from 500 gigabytes to four terabytes. And of course, the P3 Plus is also backward compatible for most Gen 3 systems. So for around £20 more than the P3 for a 500 gigabyte drive, this is definitely worth considering if you have a PCIe Gen 4 motherboard and want to take advantage of the ramp up in speeds. Then we have the top of the stack P5 Plus. This is the latest and greatest of the crucial M.2 SSDs and it's been designed specifically for intensive workloads, high quality creative content and hardcore gaming. So it's obviously PCIe Gen 4 and it has super fast speeds of up to a whopping 6,600 megabytes per second read and up to 5,000 megabytes per second write. You can experience faster boot ups and games that load as soon as you're ready to play. We actually did an in-depth review on the P5 Plus and benchmarked it up against the previous model, the P5. As you can see when we run it through Crystal Dismart, which allows us to see the potential speed of the drive without any bottlenecks, and the scores were very close to the advertised optimal speeds. Pretty impressive, hey? And what's even more impressive is that this drive offers 600 TBW, which is terabytes written, compared to 220 TBW on the P3 Plus and just 110 TBW on the P3, making it much more durable and long lasting. So this is obviously designed for intensive uses like gaming, video editing, content creation, and demanding engineering applications. Another thing to note is that as the P5 Plus is a Gen 4 NVMe M.2 SSD, then it fully matches PS5 requirements for upgrading the internal storage. In fact, it exceeds Sony's recommended minimum speeds by 20%. We've also made a video showing how to install your M.2 into the PS5, so check that one out if it's something that you're looking to do. So as always, we've done a few speed tests, and for these, we used a one terabyte version of each drive tested on our 3XS PCIe Gen 4 system, featuring an AMD Ryzen 9 5900X and Asus ROG X570 Crosshair 8 Dark Hero motherboard. First, we copied a folder of video files over from the crucial SSD to our system drive and back again. These files equated to approximately eight gigabytes. As you can see from the table, the P3 took around seven and a half seconds both ways. The P3 Plus slightly topping that and the P5 Plus around 6.3 seconds. You can also see here the peak speeds for each test. The P3 reaching an impressive 3.6 gigabits per second, but this was just for a millisecond before it averaged out to around one gigabyte per second. Next, we transferred 32 gigabytes of video files. Here, the P5 Plus peaked at 3.17 gigabytes per second read and 3.22 gigabytes per second write speeds. The total time taken to transfer 32 gigabytes off the P5 Plus to our OS drive was just 12.16 seconds and 12 seconds to transfer back. Again, the P3 hits a big peak speed, this time 3.15 gigabytes per second, both read and write, but obviously doesn't maintain this speed as the total transfer time was 16.61 read and 15.23 write. So now for the big one. We transferred a 62 gigabyte game folder from the crucial SSDs to our system drive and then back again. 
Here we saw a peak transfer of 3.12 gigabytes per second for the P5 Plus write and 2.71 for read speeds. But what's more impressive here is the average speeds for the P5 Plus, maintaining an impressive 2.81 gigabytes per second, meaning just 22 seconds to transfer this hefty file. Again, the P3 peaked at an impressive 3.15 gigabytes per second for the read speeds, but taking 31.4 seconds to transfer, it averaged out at just under 2 gigabytes per second versus the P5 Plus at 2.81 and the P3 Plus at 2.26 gigabytes per second. So there you go, all three of these drives are great options. The P3 offering great speeds for an affordable price if you're currently using a PCIe Gen 3 motherboard. The P3 Plus being an obvious upgrade if you're onto Gen 4 and want to get the most out of it for the best price. But if you're a heavy gamer or content creator, then the P5 Plus is the way to go. All of these crucial SSDs are backed by a five-year warranty for peace of mind, and they all take advantage of Micron's industry-leading NAND technology, tested and validated to deliver exceptional speeds, reliable security, and long-lasting performance. You can get yours now at scan.co.uk.